Hello viewers, this is Herald Plenia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Twitch. And when we reached Skull Mountain previously, we encountered Kublai, and we learned that his dragon, Tengri, is sick. Apparently Tengri is supposed to be able to fly people who ride him all over the world. So we've got I to go to the Motorville. Me telling us the mighty Mornstar was no more, and yet somehow the boy managed to acquire it. Things don't seem to be going according to plan, do they, Shadar? What you say is true. I went to great lengths to destroy the wand, that the boy might never wield its power. But I could not have known he would travel through time to obtain it. That reminds me, Lord Garrus. You have used that spell. The one that binds past, present, and future. Surely not. Surely you did not meet with this savior in the past. <laughs> the very thought. What would I stand to gain from such a meeting? Perhaps the good lady forgets that it is a Shadar who has been charged with a boy's disposal. Your Excellencies, there is no cause for alarm. Everything is in hand, I assure you. I am the executor charged with bringing destruction to this world, and I fully intend to fulfill my duties. In any event, the wand he holds is incomplete. Without the power of the Three Stones, Mornstar is weak. Set against the might of our own wands, it is a mere toy. It seems you are quite the expert. They are lost, are they not? The stones from which Mornstar's magic powers sprang. Correct. The magic stones are lost, but the boy is searching for them now. Of that I have no doubt. And how are we to stop him finding them? When the Wizard King concealed them long ago, he entrusted their care to three fearsome guardians. I propose that we awaken the Keepers of the Stones from their slumber. Does this plan please you, Your Radiance? It does. Listen to me well, Shadar. The Keepers of the Stones shall henceforth answer to you. I am... Honored. Use your new powers wisely. The Wizard King's most faithful servants are now yours to command. Okay, so Shadar has control of those guardians, huh? That is not a good thing. Righty ho, Ollie boy. We need to find Tengri's soulmate then, ain't it? Can you think of anyone who reminds you of a massive flying dragon? You mean, uh, somebody dragon-like? Come on, man. You know everyone in town, don't you? If you can't think who it might be, just ask around, and it? <coughs> so we've got to find Tengri's soulmate. New diner, huh? You don't have time for food right now. Oh, it's yeah. What's her name? Hello, Layla. There's nothing finer than a glass of cool milk and a big plate of delicious cheese after a little exercise. Hello, Timmy. Yeah, you can understand one. One must apologize for the inconvenience one caused you the other day. Thank you for carrying one back to Miss Layla. Huh? Oh, oh, that's fine. It was our pleasure. One is in your debt and eternally at your service. Gee, so that's how Timmy talks, huh? Who oh, know old Catface was such a pasho, eh? And 
indeed. Anyway, let's go out here and talk to Myrtle. Oh, hi, Oliver. Hi, Myrtle. Long time no see. How's it been working for Miss Layla? I love it, and I'm getting better all the time. I know the names and prices of everything in the store now. Very impressive, young lady. Oh, I'm Swain, by the way. I don't really like to talk about it, but I've made it my business to protect these poor kids here. I'm what you might call their guardian. Pfft. Yeah, right. Hmm? Uh, you know she can't hear you, don't you? You what? Hee <laughs> hee. People from this world can't see or hear us, silly. That girl is my soulmate. Can't you tell? Yeah, I suppose I can, now that you mention it. Yeah, Mun, they look just like each other, and it. They don't like the same mind. Thank goodness for that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oliver, can you hear voices? Uh, nope. No, I can't hear them. Hmm, weird. Hey, want to know what they call me around town these days? People have started calling me the Dairy Fairy. It's a little embarrassing, but I kind of like it. Neato. That's so great, Myrtle. I can't believe how much things have changed for you. You mean now they don't call me Starry Mary anymore? Yeah, I guess things have changed. Uh, ha ha. Woof! Grr! It's a dog! Uh-oh! There's a mad dog on the loose! Strange. I feel like I know him from somewhere. Isn't he sweet, though? Um, no. Hey there, Genghis. Are you out on your own again, sweetie? Hey, this dog, it's... That's right, it's Denny's dog. You know, Denny who lives next door to me? They're always out walking together. Well, I guess you couldn't really call it walking. As soon as school's out, the two of them go running off together all over town. But I haven't seen Denny lately. Even though you live next door? That's weird. It is, huh? I always know when he leaves the house. I hear him laughing and hollering. At least, I did until recently. You mean he hasn't been going outside? Maybe, yeah. Maybe he's like I was. Crikey, you mean now we've cured Starry Mary, we've got Glary Carry to deal with instead? Typical. Glary Carry? Mr. Drippy? What, man? I thought she couldn't flipping hear me. Grr! Ow. What are you getting so worked up about? Yes, indeed. I think he wants to tell us something. Huh? Genghis? What could he want? Looks like another case for the heroic wizard who can talk to the animals. Don't make fun of him. Oliver, I know we're supposed to be looking for Tengri's soulmate, but... Please, could we speak to Genghis? Sure, let's hear what he has to say. Just a second, Myrtle. I need to ask Genghis what's wrong. Uh, sure. How exactly? Oh, I, uh... I mean, I need to see if he has any clues, you know, being Denny's pet and all. Shut up, man, you're making it worse. Hee <laughs> you can be awfully strange sometimes, Oliver. 
Anyway, I have to open the store. I'll see you around, okay? Looks like that doggy is itching to talk to you, Ollie boy. Use that spell you used on Tengri and it. Yes, let us use nature's tongue to talk to this doggy. Why won't you listen to me? How many times do I have to tell you? My master, he's in trouble. Blimey, sounds serious. Oh, you're listening now, are you? And you can see us? Sure I can. You're not exactly easy to miss. How come you suddenly started listening? Of course, he can see us cause animals are all sensitive and that and it. Oh, and we were listening, Dogface. We just couldn't understand till Ollie Boy cast the spell and it. Ah. Well, you seemed so upset, we had to find a way of speaking to you. There was something you wanted to tell us, isn't there, Genghis Sweetie? Grrr, sweetie! Oh, sorry, I meant Mr. Genghis, sir. Oh, stupid humans. Anyway, I'll tell you again. My master, Denny, is the greatest athlete this town has ever seen. And I'm his best friend, the king of the dogs. You can call me Genghis. I could swear I know someone who talks just like you. I was thinking just the same thing. In fact... Doesn't Genghis kinda look like somebody we know too? It's Mr. Genghis, Oliver. But yes, I had the same feeling. Who the flip could it be now? Kublai! How could we not have spotted it? Just look at his expression. Ha! Ah, could be old pirate face his head on another body now I look at it properly. There's sharp eyed of you, Ollie boy. He talks just like him too. Kinda rough. It's funny, huh? Over in your world, Kublai keeps dragons, but here he's somebody's pet. Hey, do you think... What, man? Spit it out. Tengri soulmate, could it be Denny? What makes you say that? Does he look like a dragon or something? Oh, I get you. Kublai and Tengri are proper close, and it. So it makes sense Genghis here would be close with Tengri's soulmate. Exactly. But what would me. But that would mean Kublai's pet in our world is his master in this one. The old switcheroo, eh? Classic stuff. Girl, stop yapping and listening to me, will you? Listen to me, will you? Oh, sorry, Mr. Genghis, sir. Are you listening now? Good. Until recently, my master and I spent all our time training. You did, huh? I used to see you running around town all the time. Well, of course you did. We were working for our dream. For my master's dream of making the state championships. You were helping him train? Er, I just said that, didn't I? Anyway, he didn't make the track team. Nobody ever said life was easy, after all. Tell me about it. But he didn't give up. Not my master. He just trained harder than ever. That's the spirit. That's just what I imagined someone with a friend like you would do. But then, it happened. Grr, maybe he trained too hard. Maybe I didn't look after him well enough. He went and got himself injured, did he? Is that why he's not been out and about lately? I didn't think it was anything serious. I thought he would be fine. And by the time I noticed, it was too late. So that's what's behind it all, eh? Grr, 
he lost his confidence. He was so convinced he would make the team next time, and then suddenly he was different. Hey, I bet he's... Heartbroken? Could be, Ollie boy, could well be. That would explain why Tengri can't fly too, huh? Then we have to help him. Mr. Genghis, sir, can you take us to your master? Er, you think you can fix him? Fools! He's seen all the best doctors and they couldn't help. What makes you so special? It's nothing a doctor can fix, Mon. It's his heart, see? It's broken. And we just happen to specialize in mending broken hearts. Mr. Genghis, sir, you have to trust us. I think we can help Denny. Er, fine. But if you hurt him, I'll bury your bones in our back garden. You know our house, don't you? I'll wait for you there. Uh, same old story, eh? Well, I don't suppose there's any harm in Kublai owing us one in this world as well. Hello, Myrtle. You're still here, Oliver. Did Genghis give you any clues? He sure did. It's bad news, Myrtle. Denny's hurt. He is? Oh, that's terrible. I had no idea. Wait, did you really talk to Genghis? I... no, I just figured it out. And it's worse than that. I think his heart may be broken, too. I have to help him. I have to mend him. S Sorry, Myrtle. You have no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Maybe not, but I believe in you. You used magic to heal me, didn't you? Yes. Hey, Oliver, can I come with you? Denny and I were good friends once. And when I couldn't go outside, you helped me so much. Maybe I can help you this time. Gee, Myrtle, thank you. That's okay. And Myrtle is coming with us. She's a nice girl, eh? Hee <laughs> hee, of course she is. She's my soulmate. Urgh. What's that about, guys? Don't you think Esther is nice? We have to find Denny. Denny is in the southwest part of town, in the house next to Myrtle's. down here and hang a left. And here we are outside Denny's house. Before approaching you want to make sure you're near full health and MP because we might have a big boss battle on our hands coming up. This is Herot Lania. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time when we visit Denny's house.